everybody. I'm Will. I'm Sam. And I'm Adam. And we are Working, Working Title. Title. Attack on Titan, Season 2, Episode 2. Otherwise known as what? 27. Yes. On the huge list of episodes to get through. <laughs> and serious stuff is happening. We got a giant beast titan. Mm-hmm. He looks epic and he can speak. Yeah. And he killed Mitch, the only person who now currently has that information. True. <laughs> Though, if the titan is willing to reveal that kind of information, it probably won't be long until he brings up again with another human. Mm-hmm. For sure. So. And I believe you guys thought he was the rat, too. Mick. The rat? Mitch? Yeah. Well, I yeah. Was, I, I yeah. forgot Oof. to give my apologies to him. Yeah, rest in peace, my bad. I thought you were the bad guy when we didn't know it was any. You so. sniff people, it's weird. I'm yeah. sorry, but sorry, dude. now I'm the one who's feeling sorry for you. Okay. Guys, if you're new to the <laughs> channel, leave a like. If you enjoy the video, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you know when we drop all of our awesome anime reactions. If you haven't seen us react to season one of Attack on Titan, click the link somewhere in the description and up here. And... Stay tuned for more reaction stuff, baby. And also, this is not a market substitute. Make sure you go on whatever streaming services that you like to use and then come back and watch our reaction on YouTube. Okay, we're gonna punch it. <gasps> go. And then, this episode's called I'm Home. Is that what it's called? Mm hmm. I'm Home. And you guys didn't see who was on the cover of the thumbnail. So, who's home? Con- Which character? Connie's home. Connie. <laughs> The, the only person who said I'm going home. The only character we care <laughs> least about. Yeah. So that's why they kept the rest of the cadets, was just in case there were Titans among them, too. Mm. Oh, okay, that makes sense now. I didn't really understand what they were getting out with that. That thing's crazy, man. I hate that it's like large but skinny arms. Yeah, like, it's so. It has a it's beer, got a gut. It has too. a beer belly. But it has, it has abs, abs, yeah. abs into a beer belly. He is that's that's the thing. He's the duality. He is both skinny and he is heavy. He is both man. muscle and straight fat. And man and beast. He is man and he is beast. That was he so is, messed He up. is neither good nor bad, man. I'm calling it. He is the, he is one the, in the middle. He is the bindu. They showed that little titan in the yeah, left saw corner. The fish eyed one. Uh, I gotta say though, I hate that Levi wears that little. Really? I hate that. Oh, song. I actually disagree. I actually think it looks makes him look like. This, this distinguished gentleman? Yeah, a very dis- a distinguished gentleman. It, now, okay, because of his personality, to be honest. His black suit that he was just wearing looks awesome. Yeah. I just hate those things. I don't like it. Do you know what they're called? No. No, but it's like stuff you see like musicians, like old musicians wear. Yeah, yeah in like very orchestra. punk stuff, you know. But he he seems old school, like, kind of. Bro, the fact that he just takes out a mountain right there is that shot. And like the shot of like, just the wall flying at the horseman. I'm so excited for this fight. That's what I wanted since like the second we saw Aaron's Titan. I was like, oh please get him against the armored. See. Look, the T-Rex. But it's, it's also the, the whales t- floating. But it's also the beast titan with them. It's yeah. like nature. Like he's a different breed. Like a different. His yeah. heart beats in sync with them. I'm home. I am home. What? His heart beats in sync. With I mean, them. they they showed trust. the heart. They showed the heart. All right, we're oh. back in trust. Pixis. <laughs> Pixis is in charge of trust. Is drinking. And Hanez is there too. What? Which the walls are just made of Titan skin itself? The Titan- the wall is literally a Titan? Wait, what? <laughs> you see a hostage now, the guy? Yeah. Oh, he's just. Best buddies. Yeah. True. <laughs> the new Levi squad. Okay, so they're self picked by Irwin to be the new Levi squad. Oh, man. Oh, man. 
Man, watching Levi at the charge of the squad, I mean, Erwin at the charge of this squad, just gets me so hyped up. Like, I like him as a leader so much. Yeah, something about this season just feels so much more lived in. I like it so much more already. Like, I love the lighting and everything. Like, look at, look at that. 3D? Yeah. It doesn't bother me at all. Most people shit on it, but it looks good here. If it's well placed. Yeah. Punch it out of him. <laughs> mm. Oh, they're gonna make him. Mm. <laughs> he just like turns into the Titan right there. Yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> Oh no. Please tell me Levi's not gonna be injured and like useless all season. How do you think he's in? Just the foot? He literally just said he was. Oh my gosh. He said I may not be able to fight, but it doesn't take much to watch one man and then holds the gun. He also said he's useless right now. Yeah, that too. More important than the fate of human. What would that be? It's me. I, I'm not gonna lie, I'm serious. If Levi is like injured and useless this whole season, I'm gonna be pissed. Yeah. I hate when shows do that. <laughs> oh no. She's just eating food. <laughs> Gosh. You moron. <laughs> Seriously? Dag nabbit. This guy definitely has like a cowboy accent. As like the ocean. world will change. Him. Dear Lord. <sighs> that was pretty lit. Yeah. I don't like this. Oh my gosh. That's so creepy. Look at just the ass hanging out. <sighs> oh my gosh, what is this? A naked cannibal? No, oh, it's a tight. Dude, it's a that's so tight. Oh my gosh. Dude. Oh my gosh. Wait, do Titans just start out as like small cannibals? Is that like what that little. <sighs> okay, that might have been the creepiest scene to me. That is so weird. She is so dumb. Mm -hmm. This girl, man. Oh. Why doesn't she have her... Oh, they didn't give them ODM gear. Ugh. You Sorry. dumbass! Like Walking Dead now, man. Freaking zombie-sized titans. That is so creepy. Cool, I didn't think titans really got that small. Yeah, it's so weird. Uh. I mean, he's just, he looks like he's just like seven feet tall or like six feet tall. Yeah. That's messed up. Mm -hmm. They just left that woman behind. Thank you, Sasha. Gosh, I don't like that it moves so slow. It's so creepy. That's like Michael Myers. 
He's never running, just slowly smoking. Oh man. What's she gonna do? Shoot it with an arrow? I guess. I don't know. Oh dude, look, the two characters that mean nothing in this show. Wrong. Wrong. <laughs> This was back when they were meeting each other, right? Like everybody yeah, in the cadet like school. Cadet. school. Damn right! If all she wants to do is eat potatoes and be useless, let her be that. <laughs> well, not really. I mean, that's what she's been. That's not entertaining. Ah, I hate that, man. <laughs> that I hate that child's face. I get shell shocked to just watch this mom die. It's not her fault. She's <laughs> she shook. <laughs> she shook, man. Nice. Right, she's about to be a tank. Let's go. Come on, Sasha. Do something useful. Shoot through the neck. Maybe pierce the nape through this side. Yeah. That might work. Not deep enough. I don't know then. I mean, I don't know what you're supposed to do if you don't have your bloody swords. Shoot from the side. Oh. Come on, release it! Oh, come on. Just. Is she gonna die? Stab it? Yes. Wait. Get away from it before it grabs you, though. Are you just gonna sacrifice yourself? Oh, Sasha. Oh! Oh my gosh. <laughs> Wait. My girl. Oh, that was so good. 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 I feel like his story ain't gonna be so happy. He's gonna find his family like dead on the couch or something. Yeah. Or on the table. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. <laughs> oh no. Oh Hello. no. 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 Ryan. Or slice the neck. Ew! What is up with the front of it? It's like ribs sticking out? It looked like somebody killed it. Maybe the... Maybe the Beast Titan killed it? Ew! What the fuck? It's like the ribs outgrow the skin itself. Yuck. I wanna watch this again. It looks like they're fighting that thing. But look, it's it, I can't tell if it's coming up from the water, like yeah. out of the earth. This is what this, will this, look at this. this yeah. Part. yeah. And they're crying too. I don't really understand this, right? Too like rising just, from the sun, like they. they but but they just it, they were like not there, and then they appear there, and then this, like this the one so powerful, kneeling. she's touching the clouds. Maybe that's like a season four boss. I don't know. I don't know what the Alright, that was episode two of season two, boys. It's um, definitely a darker one in tone. Yeah, I mean, we got to see, like, Sasha's upbringing a little bit and. Backstory. Yeah. Yeah. I, I'm, I'm. This is not super important, but I'm curious to know if this is like. They're going with like a Texan almost uh, accent, <clears throat> and because it's done in Japanese, we don't really know mm -hmm. what language is their native. So I'm curious if this is like our first American family, mm -hmm. like or like yeah. a family from North America, because I mean they're pretty obviously hinting the southern twang. The, yeah. She's from the north too. Yeah, well that doesn't matter because North American. Yeah, I don't know if that means North American or like. She was from that descent of like Americans, and now she's living in the northern regions of this territory because of whatever has happened over history. Like you can still retain the accent if certain people groups like survived. Yeah. You know? So I'm wondering if that's like, if she's like a group of Americans that 
like to live in the wilderness and they were the, just the ones that survived from this bracket of post-apocalyptic titan survivors the guys even got like you know the typical like bowie knife and cowboy yeah. hat what do you guys think of this this that's how probably has to be the shortest titan that we've ever seen yeah like nine feet tall or i don't know how tall you think that thing was yeah I don't know, 10 feet the, the height was a, like it i felt this way about like even aaron's titan like or certain titans in general like it always depends on the frame we're looking at like from the first shot we see, like, when it's hunched over, it's still about the height of the door. And then when it comes out, it looks like it was somewhat able to get out of the door. And then during the final shot where she's fighting it, it looks like he, it's, it's tall huge. enough to be yeah. against another, like, hill. So I'm assuming it's at least, like, like a five meter. I, like, we've seen the five meter dwarf ones that are a little bit bulkier. We've than seen shorter. We've seen four meters. Yeah, like, the ones that I was laughing at in the first season... That destroyed yeah. the right side during the Annie attack. It's just weird because the shorter ones all seem to be like misshapen in some way, whereas like yeah. that one was kind of like just very. I mean, that literally just looked like a tall basketball player. Like yeah, that was it. You know, like uh, the way it was built. Yeah, eight foot dude, seven foot dude. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't even like its head wasn't even big enough to like actually eat one of her limbs. Like she was, it was literally just holding the woman's like thigh, like eating yeah. a chicken wing. Yeah. It's also, like, he, it wasn't, like... <laughs> really? Yeah. It wasn't... A bone? I don't, bone know if, I don't know if an abnormal... Like, an abnormal just means, like, they're quick and they run weird. Because this... this they have like, abnormal behaviors versus a titan that just yeah. walks. Well, this walked like a normal titan, mm-hmm. despite being a very short titan. Like, he had the very slow... And because, because his strides aren't long being short guy, he's yeah. going to be walking like Michael Myers, which is super creepy to me. But that's even like, at his walking speed, he could keep up with them. Yeah. I think that's because of his long strides. He exactly. Keep up. Yeah. I don't know if we're supposed to grab anything from that. I mean, I'm sure there could I be think something it, there. But it's a small character development for Sasha. Yeah. She oh, realized yeah, yeah. something oh, yeah. about herself. I wasn't talking about her, but yeah. The, the, the episode is good. They're doing what I was talking about, what I wanted them to do. Like, kind of give the characters a bit more personality. Which just will meet. It'll be more meaningful. Not that I like Sasha per se, but it'll be more meaningful if they end up like dying off in the show. Mm-hmm. Yeah. As opposed to just being kind of like I wouldn't say this episode's really enhanced how I felt about her. I've never hated her though, but like it hasn't like maybe it'll be like ooh Sasha. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if my first like non main character development episode I really wanted was for her. Yeah. Like yeah. I would have rather had them done like Reiner or like Bertold. Bertold or like an Annie 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 an Annie flashback or like um I'm trying to think Gene. of all the other characters. I mean, like, honest, literally anybody but the two that. <laughs> it's, like, literally, it's literally like the meme of who has a better story than Brand the Broken, and it shows all the other characters that had a better story. Like, honestly, I probably would have even enjoyed learning more about the two the two girls that are annoying in this episode. Krista, yeah. Krista and Yamir. And Yamir. Like, I would have yeah. rather probably watched them because at least they have some form of intrigue. And I only say that because we've spent most of season one with Connie and Sasha being a part of the group. And at this point, like, I'd just... I'd rather just have them be, like, the kind of jokey characters. I would Like, at least Reiner's done stuff, Gene's done stuff, Hanji's done stuff, Mitch had done some stuff. Like, they yeah. felt at least, like, somewhat important, where Sasha and Connie were kind of, like, the jokey, not good fighter characters. So now they're doing it in season two, and they're like, ah, it kind of took, took too long, in my opinion. We'll see. Yeah. Maybe I'll feel different five episodes from now, but... Yeah, it, it's hard because, like, it's, like, on one hand, like, I like those kind of episodes, like, you know, the ones that don't necessarily, like, deep dive into story deep build. In, yeah, they, they build the characters mm-hmm. and the, the world and, like, what's going on, not necessarily having to be, like, let's figure out where the Beast Titan came from or, like, explain some super important plot. Like, I don't mind these episodes, but just, like, the way this show comes across where everything has just been, like, important, 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 and important, then important, then and then it's like this. It's a little, like... Like, from last episode, like, I almost felt like when we started the discussion, I was like, okay, so we're going to keep talking about what happened last episode because, yeah, <laughs> like, with her, I wasn't super, super focused with just, like, I don't know. It wasn't even like there was that much. It was literally just, like, they, they there wasn't a lot of content they, to work They off think with. I talk weird. Like, that's it. It's like, they think I talk weird, and my dad wanted to give up tradition to protect the rest of humanity, but I thought I should, we should keep yeah. our tradition. Like, that's... I don't know. They don't want to speed food you. Speed food. Just they food. don't want to spoon feed you. Yeah. But it's just so weird. They're going to make you want it. Yeah. 
but it's just a weird like mm-hmm. character development. Such a, and, and like I, I'm a not, whole camp character I'm not against think. episodes that don't have to do with the main story. Like sure. in my yeah. like yeah. in my hero, I love the episodes where we can just jump with the characters. The difference is you at least still have some of the main characters around and how you incorporate the newer characters or characters yeah. that don't have stuff is you bring them into the story. Okay, this is a terrible example. I don't know how people feel about Naval Laser from My Hero, but I mm. enjoyed, I liked that episode because it wasn't really so much focused on him. They had other stuff happening and we kind of yeah. get to learn more about him as a, a, B, a B story where this it was like, your only choice is to watch this kind of boring story I with this say, character. Like Kirishima story or the whole episode well, yeah. where Eraserhead and All Might are going around to all the parents of the students and we get to see yeah. them at their home. Well, yeah. I chose I- Ayama or Naval Laser because he's like not a top favorite pick for people. Just like Sash is not a top favorite yeah. pick. But how they Definitely like it. on the like 9th, 10th, well not even that, like more like 11th, 12th, 13th. Yeah, list people already like Red Riot or Kirishima before mm-hmm. they gave him his own arc in season four. Like, people already liked him. Yeah. Whereas, I don't believe people probably liked Sasha in season one, or maybe, I mean, Naval Laser, at least people will j- joke or laugh about, like, enjoy his flighty personality. Yeah. But, like, I just think if you're comparing, like, back characters that aren't a first pick, how the other show did it is a better than just. We're stuck with this character. Also, it's not like the most interesting of like story. There's no real intrigue to what's happening. I just don't. Or no, I, I've only seen two anime that have a character like this where their theme is they eat, and I just yeah. don't find that character very interesting. Yeah, just, they don't bring anything to the show really. Well, I said it back in season one. I was like, it's not my humor. I don't know if it's humor. No, it's maybe not. it's humor to somebody else, but it's kind of just it's a little slapsticky. There's not a lot of sus- substance other than I like food. Yeah. Which can be funny maybe once, but like I laughed in the first episode when it happened or whenever she appeared. But after a while, it's like, okay, you like food. That's the thing where I bring up, I like that there's the whole theme of military and you gotta follow rules. And to see a fucking cadet eating food when you're in line talking to a general, that's bullshit. <laughs> That is not fly. That's a meme. <laughs> yeah. uh, okay, so there was something at least interesting this happened. That happened this episode. So they're taking Pastor Nick, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, Pastor yeah, Nick yeah. out, <clears throat> out beyond the walls to see what the real world is like to try and get him to not clam up and spill the beans. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um. I, I already don't know how to approach that situation. Only because the man was already willing to just die. Like he was, he he said like, yeah. "Take me, oh Lord, on the yeah. edge of the thing." I mean, that's a pretty like. <sighs> oh man, what, it's a, a pretty self committing. Is that a pre- martyr? I mean, yeah. Mar- it's, yeah, dying for your belief. That's a pretty heavy thing to. To try and like overcome. <laughs> to, to, yeah, yeah, to yeah, mentally yeah, overcome. Like, yeah. I don't know what seeing Titans will enhance. But also, we don't really know why he's doing what he's doing. I, I don't think it's to see Titans. I think it's to see, like, probably, like, the de- the fields of dead bodies. And, like, hey, like, what is more important than humanity's fate if you're really... Like, you know what I mean? Like, or to see he, what the Titans do to humans. That's the thing. He seems to already have something that he believes is more important than human, or like, overall humanity. Like what Levi said. That's what, that's what, what, what Levi... I don't what know. What could Levi be But that, that's what it could be. Like, we were talking about these Titans being, like, godlike figures... If what if there's like are? some truth to like his like Belief. his mm, his skewed like believing in the walls like his, his thing was like the walls are gods, gods. or whatever or at we're least not allowed to tear him. like we're not allowed to tear him are. down like maybe what if it, really but like what if the titans decreed that to him uh, like the titans like he, he, yeah what if the titans like the titans have like the original titans just like this beast we're saying is like something before humans were being titans mm-hmm. what if like the, an original form of titan Revealed secrets to the people so that you can be like me, or also we enjoy eating you, so we're gonna build this wall. I don't know. Well, that's the thing though, is that they don't, the Titans don't eat for like nourishment or pleasure. Like, they, they just, just they do, do it. They do yeah, it. Just do it. But they did it as if they're like, they do it because they enjoy Ritual- it. Like, well, it's like a ritualistic thing. That's what, at least by like, you're referring to the, stuff. The, the, the class. The, soup. the what? I was referring to the class they were talking about. And Aaron, Aaron made the assumption, like, they don't eat us for food. It has to be because they do it out of joy or something. Okay. Like, he did that as, like, some psychological or psychopathic, uh, I hate these Titans. They're doing yeah. it because they hate me. I'm going to slaughter every single Titan in my band. At least that's how Aaron yeah. Yeah. perceives it. So. It's it's odd. And Armin kind of... You have to say that. What? Oh, what What's I your guys' thoughts on Armin talking about the walls being made of skin? Yeah. 
Yeah. Well, yeah. I thought that was a little confusing because the Titan was inside the wall, so... Yeah, I don't really get, like, how that... Like, he said that there's no cracks on the walls yeah. and there's no, no way... Creases there's creases. There's no there. creases and they don't really understand how, how it was they built. Made. Yeah. So... No creases in the wall. They, they, no cracks, either. I they said it's like, hard to tell how they were made. I, I don't know. The walls. Yeah. <sighs> yeah. Yeah, now I can't think. Oh, I guess they are just a straight cylinder, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, it's not. It's not like brick. Brick, like, yeah. You see, like brick by brick by brick. Wait, so, so it's so we're talking like Mass Effect, like the the ship is made out of like actual cells. Yeah, maybe that's. Uh, didn't I bring something up like that earlier? Like, not the Titan. No, maybe I was talking about like the Titans themselves. Like, kind of. I was describing the Titans being like almost mechanical like the in their operation flesh, with flesh on them. Well, yeah, the kind of is the Reapers in the ep- it's the second yeah. game, the second game where it's like uh, mechanic and bi- it's like biomechanic engineer. Yeah. Well, I don't know. Yeah, don't it's know. it's interesting, and Armin also like confirmed that they only broke the gates, like you said. So then mm-hmm. they had never broke an actual wall, and part of the religious, you know, their religion's ideology is. You can't touch the walls. Like, don't touch them. Don't break them. Don't move them. Don't desecrate them. Anything like that. It, maybe every single one of those walls has titans in them. I feel like there was a previous episode where one of the priests had shouted at the scouts, like, you shouldn't be standing on top of the wall. Also, they said they didn't want the tracks and the cannons on top of the walls. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, but... It took them, like, five years. Yeah, they, yeah Armin said, like, you're the, they're the reason... They're the reason it took five years to be able to put tracks and yeah. cannons on top of the wall. So, okay, then I feel like that definitely means that, like, Annie didn't know about them. Like, because I feel like if the... Yeah. I feel like the whole goal is just to get to the center and, like, or like, get far in and, like, kill Titans. You would just break those walls and get the Titans out of the walls, right? Yeah, I, I mean, I don't know. I, like, wouldn't that make sense, though? Like, if you're just going to go kill humans and you want more titans especially like strong ones like that one was a big muscly one well here's something worrisome in the intro the colossal <clears throat> destroys the wall slams the wall or slams something that looks like a wall at the people mm-hmm. is he unleashing the titans finally or something the horde the, yeah. ho- the horde amongst the walls i just don't i don't know if that's just something we're supposed to look at and not think it's the wall or i don't know we see the Colossal coming back. And we see, yeah, and we see, We I talked about it at the start. We saw the Beast Titan, and his heart was beating, and so, and so was all the other animals. So I don't know what we're supposed to get out of that. But he also said, you know that we're inside the nape. So it's just so weird, because I, I look at his Titan, and I don't think of somebody controlling it. It looks like a sentient creature. That's what's so crazy. Like, I just look at it, and it looks like it's just an animal. So, I don't know. What did you guys think about what happened to Connie's home? With what? that Titan. Especially when the dude said, how did it get there? When, when he saw how skinny its arms and legs were, uh, and its ribs were protruding. Per- I figured that protruding. I figured that just meant it got kicked in by some... I kind of just assumed it was one of the Beast Titans probably. Like, get the yeah. fuck out of the way. I, thought, like I that. thought the same thing. I assumed... The, now that the Beast seems to be on his own, like, hey, I said wait! <laughs> I'm assuming, like, so may- maybe, I don't, I don't know why, though, because, like, as we saw, he was fine with letting Mitch get eaten alive, so I don't know why, if the Beast Titan crushed this thing, that the ribs are popping out, mm-hmm. or if it's just, like, a mutation. Like, it's so hard. It feels like every other episode, a new form of Titan, some new weird mm-hmm. thing is happening, so <laughs> yeah. I don't know. It's just more weirdness until we get told the answer. We were talking about, and we wanted to bring up the cannibalistic factor that we've been seeing. Uh, at the outro of the, the king with his children yeah. eating what looks to just be another person. And then today's episode we saw, I guess, I mean... The titan eating a human. Yeah, and it was a small titan, so I don't think the height has to do with the cannibal thing, though. It wasn't like... I think, were you thinking that it was just a well, freshly I, titan? I, when I, the only reason I said it was a cannibal, I was, I didn't, not that, that it was a fresh titan, I was like, is this just a person? Because uh, it looked short. I couldn't tell if it was a titan or a human. Also, with that same art of the the, the royal person and the three people eating the corpse, mm-hmm. do you see that there's people like praying and they have books behind, on them? Yeah, behind yeah. Them. yeah. Yeah. Well, that's why it's weird, like... They're going very, like, ritually, mm-hmm. very, not vamp- vampiric, but it's very, like, gothic, mm-hmm. very olden, very god worshipy, like, what you see in, like, our, our re- real life, like, old art. 
mm-hmm. like sacrifices to the gods. So it's, it's really, really creepy. It's very creepy. Not yeah. Well, it almost makes me wonder if like the Ugh. the original like like if that's like if you said how like the beast titan has some type of like knowledge like you brought up like beast titan like teaching people teaching humans like oh you can turn into titan or something like that like what if that's how it all starts like of them like consuming flesh and then it's just like slowly like becoming titan and then you know you have people like aaron's dad who's like oh you need a shot (laughs) this is like this is like the witcher with elves teaching humans magic and then they took it and destroyed the elves true I'm just yeah. going to say this, and this is for all the people watching who are in season four. I don't even care if the info you guys know ahead of me right now. I'm making the prediction for the end of the show. The humans are not winning this. Do you think it's going to be a big L? I think it's a huge L. I feel like it's going to be one of those very depressing like horror films where it's like, oh, the big boss ended up being this like god-tier thing that just, just came can't win. It's just like the show ends on a very depressing note where it's just like, this whole time it was like something that was so overwhelming that you could never actually take over and it was all just a lost cause well if you our audience is actual <laughs> anime fans and have seen a lot don't spoil um, you guys should know most animes don't have happy endings <laughs> and they actually are endings that none of us no, nobody wants true Gurren Lagann yeah Gurren Lagann I'm, I'm not gonna say it anymore yeah don't spoil <laughs> guys If you made it this far, if you love Attack on Titan, if you like us, make sure you leave a like, make sure you subscribe to our freaking channel if you make it this far. What else are you doing if you make it this far and you're not subscribed? What the heck? Support us. We're going to keep on watching the show whether you like us or not. And we're going to keep on watching the show. But if you want to stay tuned for more, make sure you watch these videos and keep up to date with those notification bells. But for now, we're going to punch it. Bye-bye. No spoilers, you bastards. No spoilers. No spoilers.